cover so the German spotter planes can't see them. The wood is packed with military hardware, as is the tall room. American troops are billeted here. They're under canvas in Ellenborough Park, at the golf course, all over town. The officers are, of course, in the hotels. The <laughs> other ranks are under canvas. The Supreme Commander, the Allied Supreme Commander of Europe, General Eisenhower, arrives here on a morale-boosting tour. He was obviously going around uh, in many places. He arrives in Western Tribune and his adjutant has arranged for him to stay in a Pucker Hotel. It's either the Roselle or the Grand Atlantic. I think it was Roselle. Um, Eisenhower says, no, my troops are under canvas. I'm going to be under canvas as well. Security don't quite enjoy that, so they yeah. make sure there's a military caravan here. And Ike spends the night in that caravan in front of the water tower. And then, this is June 1944, suddenly everything disappears. All the troops, all the hardware have gone down to the south coast and D-Day has started. And it's amazing when you think of it, isn't it, that, that all of that we managed to keep secret from the enemy at the time. Quite unbelievable um, how, how that story was kept secret. So Western Superman played its role in that part of the war and in hosting the man who was not only Allied Supreme Commander, but immediately after the war, and was destined to become president of what was becoming, and indeed had become, the most powerful country in the world. And so here we are today, commemorating the fact that this man spent not an historic time in Western, he wasn't responsible for developing anything in Western, but the fact that he came here, and on this site he slept, I think is something that we really ought to remember and, and commemorate, and that's why we're here today. And we have the mayor and mayoress to unveil. It is already <laughs> unveiled, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's an we, unveiling that we, can't be unveiled. <laughs> we do it a day in advance to make sure it is actually there. <laughs> Double check there are no spelling mistakes. Oh, uh, oh. And, and, and if we have a flag, and of course it wouldn't pull up. So there it is, but we will officially unveil it. Uh, and we will have our GI from the Airborne Division to help unveil it as well. So that's, that's a very brief history of why we're here and what we are, what we are commemorating. There will be, um, no, there won't be anyone around here who, who remembers it. There are some people in Western um, who do actually remember mm. Ike coming here. Um, but there are one or two lovely stories coming from people here, like your, 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 My stepfather. your stepfather was here stepfather. And, and, was only, and only recently he and your <laughs> mother met up again um, and, yeah. and um, got married. Got married. Yeah. Got married. And, you know, they both passed away. Yeah. Years, so every so every time you walk past this, it will bring some yeah, family, family memory family. back to you, and that's, and that's what these signs do. Don't they? It doesn't give us a great history, but it leads us to think, oh, that's interesting, and we can all go home, open Google, go onto Wikipedia, and you know we get the we get the full history. So that's it in in a nutshell. Mark, do you want to? Say something. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll, I'll be brief. And first of all, thank you for coming. I mean, what a, what a turnout. I think the best so far for a blue black. Um, I think that's possibly partly due to the huge amount of interest. Because so many, of, I, I think to be, it's fair to say, so many people who live in Western Superman would not have a clue that Dwight was here. Yeah. And I mean, John just said he was here. Well, I, I walked through these woods every day for years and years and years, and I didn't know he was just here. All that was here was always a muddy puddle. <laughs> And, and, and we find and we find this, and I, and I think, uh, as I say at other, you know, first of all, thank you to the Civic Society for the huge amount of support they give for this, and the Town Council who partner it, and John as well with his committee who actually decides where these things should go. And I think what's so really important is the fact that this gives us something, some real depth. Western has so much to show and so much to offer because we are now getting these blue flaps, and then you start wandering around the town and realising the importance that this town played in the history of Great Britain and of the uh, and the wider world from that. Um, uh, and we have names of things around the town which have had so much importance. So I, I think that's I think that's one of the things I do love about the flats is in, and in time you'll be able to wander around this town and we'll be able to have a, a trail of interest 
And history just gives us that depth, that depth of belonging, that depth of wanting to be here. So I'd like to thank all those who have been involved. I'd like to thank you. And, and I, I do appreciate the, the razor wire still, um, which clearly is just to give us a feel of, um, uh, of what it's like. And you've got to go over that in a moment, I imagine. <laughs> but, and, and that's exactly what they, they had to face. Uh, you know, that they had to get through whilst being shot at. And what, what, what an awful experience that must have been. But Western Woods was all part of that story. Uh, and I think that um, I think that's so important to remember. So thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for John. I'm not sure how we unveil. Should we just point while saying take a photograph? Do you want to do Aww. that? Come on, all of us, point up. Let's point. Who's going to do the photo? Here we are. The unveiling. There we are. Well, you can just salute if you. You, you salute. You salute. Uh, we can't because we're not in uniform. Yeah. No American salute. presidents do, don't they? Yeah.